It's now finally time to install the chain on my custom bike build. Thank you for tuning in and watching. We're gonna go put this chain on the bike right now. So, we're gonna install this brand new chain. Since I don't have a chain to reference, because this is a custom build, I can't say that I can match this chain against the original chain. If you have an original chain that was sized correctly, you could always use that chain to match up. You could either count all the links or you could line them up together on a table and make sure the chain links is pushed in nicely because they stretch and match it up. But you could use that chain as a reference for the new chain. I don't have that. So I'm gonna do two things for this one. I'm going to use what I learned on the Park YouTube video and I'm also going to use an app that I have on my phone that's supposed to help you size the chain. Regardless, um, I'm gonna, let's put this thing on the bike and, and get it started. The way you do this is you completely bypass the rear derailleur. You don't put the chain through the rear derailleur right now. You're gonna just use the, the largest cog, okay, the largest cog on the rear cassette and the largest ring on the front of the bike, on the front of the crank. If you're using a one by, that's pretty easy, but you want the largest and the largest, and then we'll add in a few links later on to make up for the way the derailleur is gonna swing. This is a SRAM link, a SRAM chain. So a SRAM chain uses a master link Master link looks like this. If it's Shimano chain, it would have one of those pins. Okay, uh, other people make chains too. So you're either gonna have a master link or a pin that goes in. It's a SRAM, SRAM uses the master link. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna put that master link back on, just one size of it, one half, and slide that on there. Next, you make sure that your chain is definitely on all of the gears, it's not missing. And then you go down here and you line it up. Let me try to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it over here a little bit more so it's easier for you to see on the camera. Let me make sure you can see this. Okay, you're going to line these up. Now in this case, they meet, okay? Where in this case, if you take a look right here, what I mean by meet is that the master link will match an area of the chain or it can connect to. See, I can take out that pin and it would fit perfectly on here. I won't do that because if I did that, then I wouldn't have any room for the derailleur. So you're supposed to add in two more rivets to take up for derailleur room. So that's gonna be one, two. So they want me to go right here. And this should be all I need for my derailleur. I'm gonna mark this right here. I'll mark this one as the one that has to be removed. And we'll break that one out. Before I do it, I'm gonna count all these links. According to the app, the app asks for the chain stay length, if it's gonna be a rear derailleur or a single speed, the biggest gear in the front and the biggest gear in the back. And it says that I'm supposed to have 50 links. Let's go count, and I'm using an app called chain calculator. It's a free download. I should have 50 links on that chain. Let's see how, how close I am to this. 3, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. You know what? I counted out the 50 and we're right in the same spot. I can't believe it actually worked, I'll be honest with you. But both the app and the, uh, the method I just used actually got me to the same spot. So I'm cutting this. Okay, my chain's been officially cut. I got my chain cutter here, and now let's put it together. This time around, obviously, this time around, obviously, I will run it through my derailleur, okay? All right, my chain has now been installed through the derailleur. Let's go put my master link on and see how we do. All 
All right, one for each side. Get out of the way a little bit so you can see what's going on. Okay, here's my master link. I'll put my master link like this. Okay, and they go together like this. Kind of have to give them a pull to lock them on. Okay, one way to do that is also to hold the tire and pedal it. Let's see if I can get it up on top. Okay, there's my master link. <clears throat> there we go. You see what I did there? My master link, see if I can see that. My master link was up on top. I put the chain up on top, I held the back tire, and I pedaled forward, <clears throat> and it locked it in. Okay, and we're on. Now, I still have to tune up the rear derailleur. All right, and let's take a look at this. Let's see if our, let's see if our chain is sized correctly. All right, this chain would be sized correctly if the derailleur has a slight bend to it, which it does. I'm also running a, a smaller cage derailleur, so I have a little bit more clearance over here. But this chain is sized correctly, and that's pretty cool. It worked both ways with the use the two extra rivets or actually the chain calculator app. So that's pretty cool. But hey, look at this. We got a chain installed on the bike. The next video will be tuning up the rear derailleur and then just putting on the last couple things and this bike is done. So, uh, hope this helped. We got into a lot of details over here. Remember, I'll put links to other videos to help you along the way. Gene from Regular Guy Mountain Biking, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.